All right, hi everybody. This week, well, well, it could be any point in your life right now, but uh, we are going to be talking about putting fractions in order from least to greatest. And to do that, uh, it really helps if you can pick one out of the crowd that you know is bigger or smaller, right? Because then you're just left with two, right? So let's uh, see if we can use estimation to figure out which one of these fractions is the biggest. Uh, so let's uh, take a look here. The six tenths, right? I know half of ten is five. So five tenths is half. This is more than half, right? So this one is more than half. Change colors here. Uh, three sevenths. I know half of seven would be three and a half out of seven, right? So three and a half pieces out of seven would be half. This is less than half. Right, so I'm just I'm not really doing too much math here. I'm just quickly looking at these and saying, and this I know, whoa, uh, half of eight would be four. This is way more than four. In fact, I know that eight eighths is one whole. So I know this one is more than one whole. So check this out. We can say this is more than one. This is this one is less less than half, and this one is more than half. And you should be able to figure out which one is the smallest at this point, right? Just by using the sort of mental estimation. Um, so three-sevenths, something that's less than half of a package uh, is smaller than something that is more than half of a package. I'm thinking of a package of M&M's or cookies or something. You could think of it as a dollar, right? This is three-sevenths is less than half a dollar. Six-tenths is more than half a dollar, right? And nine-eighths is more than one whole dollar. So that one is bigger than all of them, right? If we were drawing this, I could say, okay, here is a whole dollar. Three-sevenths is less than half. I could say six-tenths is more than half, right? So a little bit more than halfway. And nine-eighths would be a whole dollar. And a little bit more, I'll just draw some coins out here, right? Nine-eighths is more than one whole. So what I've done here with these uh, red, blue, and purple, I mean, this is sort of mental math. I was drawing it, but normally we want to just kind of think this in our mind, right? What makes half of 10? What makes half of seven? What makes half of eight? And, it, and then if you've got something that has a really large number on top, bigger than the denominator, you might say, think to yourself, well, what makes one whole? And is this more than one? Yeah, eight eighths is one, so this is more. Right, so sometimes if you're lucky, you can put them in order with just some, some mental math, right? Let's see if we can do that again with this one. Um, Three-fourths, six-eighths, and two-sevenths. Well, I'm going to say I know that this one is more than half. Right? And hopefully you can understand why. Right? Three is more than half of four. Six out of eight. Oh, well, I know that half of eight is four, and six is definitely more than that, more than half. And uh, two-sevenths, well, half of seven is three and a half. This is less. Right, so it should be clear to you which one is the smallest. At this point, we're going to say two-sevenths is the smallest. But now I've got a problem, and this is the main task in these sorts of situations where you're trying to put things in order. You've used estimation to eliminate one. What are you going to do with these? Okay. Well, in this case, it looks like six-eighths. I'm going to do a little side work over here. Do it in blue. It looks like six-eighths can be simplified. So let's see if we can make this uh, a common denominator with three-fourths, right? I can divide them by two, divide it by two, and I get three-fourths. Woo! That's weird. They come out to be the same. Now, so this, before we get all excited about finishing here, let's just point this out. This is a, co a really good strategy when you're trying to compare two fractions, if you can find a common denominator, right, in other words, if we can write this as a fourth, then you can compare them, and we see that they're equal, right? So we would say uh, two-sevenths 
is less than 3 fourths, and 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. Right? Those two were equal, and they're both greater than 2 sevenths. Okay, so finding a common denominator, a great, great strategy, a great, great strategy. Let's try another one. Oh, now these denominators are, these are the kind of things that freak people out, right? We got 21sts, we got 7ths, we got 8ths, but don't worry, you're going to use what you know, right? Half of 21 would be 10, what, 10 and a half? This is more than half. 4 out of 7, we know that's more than half. Right? Because we know half of seven is three and a half. And two eighths, oh, well, we know that's less. So right away we can say that this one is the smallest. Two eighths is the smallest. Here, we're going to try and find a common denominator. So I'm going to try and simplify 15 over 21. Now, I know these can both be divided by three, right? One plus five is six. 6 can be divided by 3, so that means that 15 can be divided by 3. I'm going to add these digits. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 can be divided by 3. That means 21 can be divided by 3. That's simplifying, right? So we're going to say we can divide both of these by 3, and we're going to get 5 sevenths. All right, so I'm going to just cross this out and rewrite it as 5 sevenths. Now, we can see that these are still both more than half, but if I had a package of cookies and I ate five of the seven cookies, and you had a package of cookies and you ate four of the seven cookies, who ate more, right? Five-sevenths is more. So we're going to write five-sevenths is more than four-sevenths. And we know that 4 sevenths is more than 2 eighths. And it looks like we're done, right? But I don't want you to make this mistake. 5 sevenths was never one of our numbers to start with, right? We changed it. So when you're writing your answer, always make sure that you write the fraction that you started with, the fraction that you were given. Okay, so remember the original fraction was 15 over 21. That's what it was before we simplified it. So we want to put that original number right there. Okay, so again, the rule of the game is use estimation to see if you can move one character out. One of these fractions is not like the others. It's going to stand out as being the smallest, or maybe it'll be the biggest. And you'll be left with two, right? You'll be left with two other fractions. And then you're going to try and use a strategy to compare them. Finding a common denominator is one of those strategies. Awesome.